Hi everyone, um, today I'm just going to do an empties. I've been saving these probably since the start of the summer, not quite sure, but there's quite a lot. Um, I might not cover it all because it is kind of ridiculous. Um, I'll start off with kind of what I'm most excited about, in that I finished five lip balms. Um, like, normally I would lose a lip balm before I ever got to finish it, but um, I keep lip balms scattered all around the house, uh, like one by my computer, one where we sit in the evening, one by my bed, one in every bag that I take out. Um, and yeah, I've managed to finish five. Uh, the first one is the Dr. Organic Cherry one, SPF 15. This one smelled disgusting and felt quite grainy, but I used it. Would not recommend. Uh, the next one is the Body Shop Hemp one. This one um, goes on your lips quite hard, like it doesn't feel um, really emollient, um, but it did moisturise and didn't really smell of much. Uh, the next one was this Love and Toast Ginger Fizz one. I think I got this free from Cute Cosmetics. I really like this. Um, it smelt like ginger biscuits or something really nice and it was really soft. This was the one I kept by the computer. Um, the next one is Forever Eden Organic Cocoa Butter Lip Balm which my auntie gave me because someone in her area made this. Um, that was good. Um, I like the smell of this one, it was cocoa and coconut. And then I finally used up my MAC lip conditioner. I had this for way too long, um, but luckily it was still good. Um, definitely, if you have something like this, cut the end off, because, uh, yeah, I cut the end off and scraped everything out with a spatula, put it in a little pot, and I would say I got, like, another 50 applications from it, so definitely try that. This didn't really have... No, it didn't have a smell. Um, maybe out of those five, this one left my lips feeling the best, possibly. I liked it, probably wouldn't repurchase it though because I tend to go for ones with SPF in it now. I don't have much makeup items to show, um, but I have finished one of the Makeup Revolution's Awesome Liquid Eye Primer. I've had a few of these and now I buy the bigger size. And um, yeah, it actually does work fine as an eye primer, although it's a bit weird to like lay down a clear liquid first, it felt weird anyway. What I use this the most for is mixing it with um, powders or like a gel liner to make splatter on my eyes. Um, yeah, a good little thing. Um, I'm throwing away my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. For a start it's the wrong colour, it's way too yellow and too dark, um, but I've just had it quite a few years and I never use it, so I'm throwing this away. I'm throwing away this, this is ancient. Um, I've been buying from Urban Decay for about 15 years and I would say I've had this the majority of the time. It's really, really old. I don't even remember the last time I used it. And I'm not sure why I still had it, so I'm finally throwing that away. It's a really nice colour though, like cobalt blue. Probably, well, I'm getting rid of this, but I'm not sure if I should throw it away or give it to somebody, like my sister. Um, it's Kiko Colour Twister Lip Gloss, and I don't know if this was free with my order or whether I thought, ooh, look, something's like a pound, so I'll buy it. Um, but it's... I guess it looked pretty. It was a swirl of two different lip glosses, but I would never use something like this. Like, there's no colour payoff, and yeah, I don't know why I have it. I have one hair care item, and that is from Beauty Protector, the Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. I think I got this in a birch box or glossy box or something. Um, I loved the smell of this. It smelled really, really nice. I do remember though that it was too thick to actually spray out so I mixed a bit of water in, stuck it up and then had to use it that way. Not something I would buy but I did enjoy using it and it kind of worked. My hair is so long it just tangles with anything but it felt nice when I had that in. Um, I have finished another Parian Spirit. This is my brush cleaner of choice. Um, smells of oranges, I love it. I purchased a new one of these before this one got finished. Yeah, I love it. Highly recommend. Ooh, I do have two more makeup items actually. Um, the Falsies Volume Express waterproof one. I used this for a few jobs and it was good. I didn't use the one that it came with so I can't really say how that was. And then I had the Tarte Gifted Mascara. Um, the wand was very small on it. I can't really comment on the formula because 
I don't know, it was quite dry when I got it. Not a fan. I've tried their lights, camera, splashes though, and I liked that one. One body item is this Rituals Magic Touch Cherry Blossom and Rice Milk, just a whipped body cream. It was really thick. It smelt pleasant. It was not really my cup of tea. It's kind of floral. Yeah, it was kind of floral smelling. Um, but it felt nice. Um, I mainly use this on my legs, like after I shaved, because I'm not very good at applying body cream. It's just not something I think of to do. So it's took taken me a really long time to finish this, even though it's only 70 mils. I'm finally throwing away this impulse body spray in vanilla and peach. Um, this is something I used to keep in my bag when I was working full time in retail and, you know, if I worried I was a bit smelly I would go and put this on, but it smells gross. I just didn't want to have like a glass container in my bag. Yeah, it wasn't nice. There's a tiny bit left, but I am throwing away. On to some perfume samples I have. I've got the um, C Lolita by Lolita Lempica. Um, this was okay. I did have one by Lolita Lempica in a purple tube, and I know I definitely preferred that one. I have an Illamasqua Freak. I love Freak, I have a full size. Um, but I like having a, a sample size of one so that if I'm like at a wedding or whatever, I can just stick it in my bag. Um, this one's probably my favourite out of the ones I've got, and it is La Petite Robe Noire um, by Guerlain. This was really, really nice, but I'll never be able to afford to buy it as a postman. Sorry, that was just a postman delivering a present I ordered for my cats. It's just one of those um, cat things that hangs on the radiator. I've got one on that radiator, but I have two cats, so I got another one. The rest are all skincare items, I think. First off is this sheet mask from Primark 3D Brighten and Moisture Mask, and it was 80p. Um, this was my second ever sheet mask, and it didn't feel much different from one I'd had, like, actually from Korea. Um, and it was made in Korea as well, I think. So if you've not tried a sheet mask, I would spend 80p and try one. I like the process of using face masks. I'm never actually sure if they work. Um, I think you need repeated use, and so, like, a one-off sheet mask, or just a sample, or just a sample of something, it's not enough to tell if it does anything I don't think but yeah I just enjoy the process. Um, I've got the Tony Moly tea tree face mask. I like the feel of this on and I like the smell of it. Um, I did break out really bad the next day but then I break out like every other day anyway throughout the entire month so I don't know if it was this. I do have another one of these and I will be using it so I guess I will know then. Um, a really bad mask I tried was this coconut water one from H&M. I kind of just bought it because I thought the pot was cool um, and each like different scented one or whatever has a different coloured pot. Um, this one burnt my face and made my eyes water so don't recommend those. Oh actually I thought this was skincare but it's another makeup one. It was a sample of the Zoeva um, matte lid primer and it worked really well. I do have a load of primers right now so I don't think I'll repurchase it. Um, one thing that isn't finished but I'm throwing it away is the number no. 7 Beautiful Skin Overnight Revitalizing Eye Balm. My eyes don't like this so I will be throwing it away. I finished a Bioderma Sebium H2O. It's the micellar water but the one for oily skin and it worked really really well. Um, I didn't really notice a difference afterwards compared to the pink topped one. I finished a Monu Extra Rich Night Cream for dry and sensitive skin. Um, my skin is by no means dry, but um, I didn't actually feel like... Well, this was moisturising, but I didn't feel greasy or anything afterwards, so... Um, again, I think this might have been a birch box thing. Um, it smelled kind of herbally, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but... Um, it won't put me off a product. Um, I finished the Aveeno cream. I technically didn't use this myself. I gave it to my husband because he has eczema and I can say that it didn't um, make it worse. You know, he wasn't sensitive to it, but it's, you know, too small of a sample really to say if it would do anything. He's used Aveeno in the past, but that product was a bit too Liquidy? Does that mean it's a lotion instead of a cream? Maybe. Um, yeah, it was a bit too liquidy. You need something really, really thick. 
and this was thicker. I finished a Cora's Evening Primrose Eye Cream SPF 6 and it was fine, nothing offensive about this. I think maybe I'm too young to see a difference made by eye creams but then prevention is better than cure so it was good. Um, I do have another eye cream hero that the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Sample. Um, this was interesting because it was almost like the consistency of it was between like a lip balm and like a silicone face primer. It was really easy to rub in. I did like that. I won't be buying it though because I'm sure it's really expensive. I love samples because it gives me the opportunity to try things that I can never afford. Um, I used up a sample of the Effaclar Duo Plus. I've had a full size of the Duo before but not the Plus. Um, like I said earlier, I break out all month long and I've never found any product to actually make a difference because it's to do with my PCOS. Um, oh, again, I chopped the lid off this and there was loads left in it and then I would sellotape it up after every use. Um, I've got a lot of Paula's Choice samples that I used. This was the Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. Um, I really enjoyed this because most serums I've used have just been like the cheapest one I could find in Boots or whatever because serums always seem quite expensive. Um, I like this. I, I'm, fi I'm kind of like so oily that I felt like I could get away with just using a serum and not a moisturiser, but I did follow up. Um, this one's for normal to com uh, this one's for normal to oily skin, and it didn't make me worse, so I liked it. This was the uh, Paula's Choice moisturiser and SPF 30 again for normal to oily skin, and I liked it. It was a really good base for makeup. And then the um, Paula's Choice Oil Reducing Cleanser, um, not my favourite type of thing. I prefer using an oil and a balm, and no, once I've taken that off with flannel, I quite often don't need like a normal cleanser. But yeah, it was fine. And then Paula's Choice Resist Moisturiser Plus SPF, it's the wrinkle defence one. Um, again, it, I didn't really notice much of a difference between this one and the one for oily skin, but I liked it. Would I buy it? No. Just used up this Alginist, um, what is it called? The, just the gel moisturiser. I think I finished this yesterday. I really like this. Um, I've had quite a few things from Alginist, just samples or deluxe samples, and I really like this. I wish it was a brand I could afford. Um, I really like the scent of them and the feel of them. Their balm cleanser thing smells so good. Now I've got two more cleansers from Mario Badescu. Again, this kind of cleanser isn't my first choice, but I had samples. So the glycolic foaming cleanser and the enzyme cleansing gel. And I kind of like them just about the same. Um, I never notice much of a difference after cleansers unless it's a really negative, like, you know, my skin feels all tight and itchy kind of thing. That didn't happen, so, you know, that was good. Um, I finished a Ren Hydrocalm Global Protection Day Cream. I didn't like the smell of this again, like the Monu thing. It was kind of herbally, just not my favourite. Also, I don't think this has SPF, which is kind of annoying because it says day cream. Oh, I have another mask here. It was the Eve Lom Rescue Mask. I really like this one. I'm pretty sure it was a clay mask. Um, I really like the way my skin felt after that one. I used up a Lancome Renergy Multi Lift day cream SPF 15 for dry skin. Again, I didn't find it too much for my combination skin. I also used up a cooler SPF 20 mineral sunscreen. Um, I've also tried their SPF 30 that was scented, like maybe it was cucumber or something, and that I would actually think about rebuying. Um, that's 20, I like a bit more than 20, but uh, the cooler products I've tried have been really nice. They don't leave any like white cast on your face, they don't feel really thick and greasy and they don't smell like normal suntan lotion. So um, I've really liked cooler products. I've got another Cora's product, it's the Wild Rose 24 hour moisturiser with SPF 6. SPF 6 just seems pointless to me. Um, I burn so easily that I want a 30 really, at least. But it did smell nice and it didn't do anything bad to my skin. The last thing, well, I also have this Mario Badescu thing, but I kept it in the shower so the labels come off, but I think it was like grapefruit AHA shower gel or something like that, and it was just a shower gel that smelled nice. I didn't notice it doing anything wonderful for my skin. So the last thing is the Carol Frank Phyto Moisturiser. Um, 
and it was a really teeny tiny tube thing. I didn't, I don't feel like I got many uses out of this at all, but it felt really nice. It made my skin feel great and makeup applied on top of it really well. I do wonder whether it's even worth me making empties because I'm so bad at reviewing things and like even after a month I can't really remember what it smelled like or felt like. Um, and if you knew me in real life, like if you asked my opinion about anything like a film or whatever, I normally just say I really liked it or I didn't like it. I'm not so good at saying why exactly. But I think maybe this is more for myself because I'm pleased that I've used up so many things, especially the lip balms. I reckon it'll be quite a long time before you see another empties anyway because um, I don't have a lot of samples and smaller size things right now and it just takes me ages to go through big stuff because I tend to have a lot of options so things get used up really slowly. Hope I haven't bored you to death and if I haven't I'll see you next time. Bye!